Uh, we're going to move to item number three, public comments for items not on the agenda. Individuals will be allowed up to three minutes. It is council policy to refer matters raised in this form to staff for investigation and or where appropriate. The Brown Act prohibits the council from discussing or acting upon any matter agendized pursuant to state law. If there's any folks, if you could raise your personal hand at this time, and um, I'll ask the city clerk uh, to bring in, please. Yes, the first is Stephen Seymour or Sandra Perez Vargas. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, whenever you're ready. Yeah, it's Stephen. Um, I just wanted to inform the San Bruno uh, community that uh, we're busy opening up uh, an art, well, art zone in Tanferan for the purpose of providing uh, the community with uh, a, a, a local uh, a gathering place uh, for artists and those who are interested in art. Um, very uh, soon uh, we'll be teaching uh, wood sculpting classes. Ruth Waters, who is an acclaimed uh, sculptor, she's been sculpting since 1957. She's a graduate, a 1955 graduate of Stanford, and uh, she has shown her work all over the country. Um, we're very um, proud to have her uh, on site. Um, she is exhibiting uh, many, many pieces of her work, uh, and uh, we'll be teaching students uh, in Tanfran how to sculpt hot hardwood from uh, basically branches and uh, the stumps of trees. And eventually, we'll be teaching uh, uh, oil painting, drawing classes, and mural painting classes on site. Uh, there will be two locations. The first location we're uh, in the midst of, of opening it up. Today you can walk through it. There's not much activity there, but it's on the second floor um, outside of uh, Target. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank uh, Council Member Hamilton and Council Member Mason and Vice Mayor Medina who have already stopped to show their support. And I'd like to invite uh, Mayor Medina and Council Member Salazar to uh, stop by at any time. Um, Ruth happens to be on site most days right now getting things ready, but the doors are open. You can walk in uh, from about 11 to 5. Um, we had two weekends where we took part in Silicon Valley Open Studios and saw foot traffic of 100 or more over those two weekends. They came in to kind of see what was going on, and there's a huge interest uh, from 50% of the people that walked in in the art classes uh, that we'll be holding there in the sculpting classes that uh, Ruth Waters um, has brought to San Bruno. Um, so I'd like to invite people to stop by and see what's happening, and um, the larger part of it will all be happening uh, later this year and early next year, but please stop by. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your comments, and that's good to hear. I know I saw it before uh, it opened, but look forward. Um, next speaker, please. The next speaker is Jennifer Blanco. One moment, I'm trying to... Why don't we go to the next speaker and we can come back? Um, I see her. I think yeah, we're trying to get her in. Oh, is. sorry. Sorry. Thank you so much. Hi. Well, thank you. Um, good evening, council members, staff, and members of the community tuning in tonight. At the September 17th meeting where Mayor Medina was censured, I raised my hand to speak on the censure resolution written during the meeting as it was a new item introduced. I have a couple points here. One, I was not allowed to speak as my raised hand was ignored. This was a violation of the Brown Act, not allowing the public to speak, which is the right of the public. I had the right to speak before or during the consideration of an item. My right to speak during the consideration of an item was violated. Council Member Bedina, I do truly believe and think you were very ill-prepared to facilitate that meeting. 
Point two, as an elected official of the San Bruno Park School District and who was censured last year on June 24th, I really hope you were not looking to us, the board, and using us as an example of how and why to censure one of your own. If you think by censuring one of your own was and is going to bring you to work together as a cohesive group, guess again, because the division within this group is just going to continue. It did on the board of trustees. The division just got worse. Many of us out here, including myself, question the way the, censor the censorship was facilitated. Point three, since the mayor's behavior was the focus, did it ever occur to any one of you to ask him why he behaved this way? Did your staff ask him why he behaved this way? Or did the investigator ask him why he behaved this way? I'm just really curious to know. I ask these questions because knowing this behavior was out of character, it is clear as day for me that that's where the problem lies, but it's apparent you all are choosing to ignore the why, which I find very interesting. As parents, when our children display undesired behaviors, what do we do as parents? We get to the root of the behavior, right? Come on, you guys, this is basic ECE 101. That stands for Early Childhood Education, for those of you who don't know. They offer it at Skyline College. This was a political stunt, and let's keep it real. If you think censuring Mayor Medina is going to prevent him, from running in the next election, think again. After my censure, I ran again and I received close to 9,000 votes. Have a good and a productive meeting. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Next speaker, please. Next speaker is Jeffrey Tong. Good evening, um, San Bruno Council members and mayor. At the 5.30 special meeting this evening, city attorney mentioned that a city charter must be uh, elected during a regular election. And I would like to know if there is a primary uh, election in March or April or the spring of next year uh, to put a city charter on the ballot prior to November 2022. Um, I believe a city charter would give the San Bruno people a lot more options than simply a uh, district election. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Next speaker, please. Next speaker is Paul Wapensky. Good evening. Uh, I wasn't able to attend the meeting just before this, but I just got a question that uh, I'd like to have answered sometime in the future. If we go to district elections and nobody in the district runs, what happens then? And then I'd also like to publicly thank uh, Pamela Wu. Um, I had a bunch of questions uh, that she was responsible for on the city staff, and uh, I've never gotten such a great response. I mean, she answered them quickly, thoroughly, and I, I was just really uh, pleased to, to have her on the staff, and she did a great job, and I think she should be recognized. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments and thank you for uh, bringing that uh, to all of our attentions uh, about that. That is very much appreciated. 